I get the ick when a guy tries to learn a TikTok dance. I'll cringe so hard. When you change your bed sheets and have shaved your legs, that's the most amazing feeling ever. I get the ick when guys have long nails. See? Velcro wallets. I hate that. Yes. What's up guys, today I started a video today where I basically react to all your unpopular opinions and icks. So I saw this trend going around where basically people just react to other people's unpopular opinions and icks. So icks basically mean like what turns people off basically. So they're like all like weird icks kind of, so why not? Let's react to people's icks today. If you are excited to see you guys, if you like to see you, try to next video. Don't forget to watch, let me know what videos until next time. I'll do any videos you want, want. Be careful when I kind of, you know, switch things up a little bit. So let's get started. Let's read all your icks. Let's go. Right, this is going to be very interesting because there are some weird icks and unpopular opinions. That's what it started. I get the ick when a guy tries to learn a TikTok dance. I'll cringe so hard, lol. Well, I can't dance. <laughs> Like the amount of videos I have on TikTok where I tried to dance and like I failed are uh, like, yeah. And I literally just like cringe every time I watch them so I guess that's kind of valid. But I know there's some great guys on TikTok who can dance and things like that so I mean it kind of depends how good a guy dances I guess. When a, when a lad has a velcro wallet, well I guess I'm kind of screwed then because I have a velcro wallet. See? Velcro wallet. And it's actually quite a nice wallet to be honest, like I bought this like three years ago thing, it's like a Nike wallet thing, I just haven't really changed my wallet for ages so. I mean it kind of depends which Velcro wallet you want about because this one's kind of a nice wallet, I'm gonna just put it out there. When they say I love you way too early, like, like while he's still in the talking phase, I hate that. Like I hate when people, I like, no offence, I'm not trying to like, you know, say that, you know, I actually hate when people like, like sort of, I don't know, See, I'm not really like I'm not really like a cuddly slash lovey person, so I hate when people like say that they love me. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I don't know, but no offense, but I just I I don't know. I'm not really that much of a cuddly slash lovey person. Like I I'm just not that at all. Like I'm not really that kind of person. So yeah. So I guess I kind of agree agree with you that one. Like if somebody like tells me I they love me like so many times, then. I guess I kind of get the ick, so... Yeah, I'm just not a cuddly person or a lovely person, so... Personal opinion, but... When you change your bed sheets and have shaved your legs, that's the most amazing feeling ever. Yes! Oh my god. I love it when I get new bed sheets. Like, freshly washed bed sheets, put on the bed, like... I love that. And... I guess shaving my legs is also quite a good feeling as well, because I shave my legs. I mean, I guess it's like... It's kind of like a personal preference whether men shave legs or not, but I personally shave my legs because I actually just I actually don't like hairy legs, so I shave my legs sometimes. All right, so it's been a few m more like minutes later, but my, my camera battery died, so I kind of had to put pause in this video. But anyway, we're back here now, so let's read some more icks and unpopular opinions. I get the ick when boys aren't polite to strangers or customers at work. Yes. I try my best to be polite and, you know, nice to people all the time, so, yeah, it's, it's just like no excuse to not be nice to someone. I'm nice to people, I try to be anyway, I'm not rude at all, so, I just like try to be polite and nice because obviously, you know, it's good to do that, so. And also as well, I am very non-confrontational, so I actually hate confrontation, so even if I have to like be rude or not polite or anything like that, I'd be like kind of terrified to do so. Like, I hate when people are mad at me or upset with me, things like that, so. Yeah, I just kind of hate confrontation, so, yeah. All right, so we've got one here which says, repeating ick like it's a word gift me the ick. Yes. I don't know why people call this the ick, because I actually hate saying the word ick so much. Like, I don't know why people call it the ick, because I, I, I just don't like saying it. It's like, I agree with this person. Like, it does sort of give me the ick when people, I don't know, when you have to say the word ick. So, yeah, why can't you like call this? else because the word ick is kind of like, I don't know. I get the ick when guys have long nails. Same. I hate when people have long, dirty nails, like, I don't know, but it just kind of makes me want to sort of throw up. There's kind of like no excuse to not wash your nails, like all you have to do is give them a little scrub dub dub and then like, you're done. Like, there's literally no excuse to like not wash your nails or cut your nails and things like that because it does generally make me throw up or like want to throw up because yeah I just kind of hate when people have dirty long nails so yeah I kind of agree with this person. I get the ick when he's rude to his mum for no reason. Same. 
People who can't be single and also have to be in a relationship. Yes. Like, this is just my opinion, so don't come at me, but I actually hate when people, like, try and, you know, seek attention and things like that. Like, nothing drives me up the wall more than attention seekers. Like, like, I don't know, it's just, like, kind of my opinion, so don't come at me, but I just hate attention seekers or people who, I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess people who can't be single or have to be in a relationship, then, um, I mean, I guess it's kind of their choice, so, yeah. Backpacks, bobbing up and down while they walk, lol. I don't know why it gives me, gives me the ick. I don't know why, but, like, I guess, I don't know. I've never actually thought of this one before, but I'm trying to, like, picture someone having, like, the backpack on the back. Then they have to get bopping up and down. Like, I guess it would kind of be, like, annoying if, like, if the sound's, like, lugging your things. Like, if it, like, sort of starts making, like, a rumbling sound, like, all the time. Like, I guess it would be kind of annoying, but I've never actually sort of, um, thought of that one before. Having to repeat the order at the drive-thru. Again, I don't know what, why this is, this is a nick, like, I don't know. I've never, I've, I've never actually thought of this one before, so I'm trying to think, but there's nothing really that gives me the ick from this, like, I don't really get the ick from this, I guess. Imagine I'm in a bath with no bubbles. Oh my god, yes. Like, every time I fill the bath, if I have oh, a bath or anything, I have to put bubbles in, like, I cannot stand plain water. Like, it's because, like, then you can see all, like, I don't know, I'm just, like, trying to imagine, like, going in a bath with, like, dirty feet and, like, having the plain water. And, like, the dirt is, like, getting into the water and you got, like, black, dirty water. I'm trying to imagine, like, dirty, hairy water. Like, nothing more makes me want to throw up than that. And this actually reminds me of something. I remember I went to a pool once, into, like, an outdoor pool thing, like, many, many years ago. And it was very cold. And nobody used to clean the pool. So it was, like, a, it was, like, a crowded sunny day. And basically, I walked into this paddling pool. And there was, like, of hers and plasters and things like that. And worst of all... The water was freezing, so basically all like cold dirt in the pool, like, like it makes me like throw up even thinking about it because it was just horrible, it was gross. Like when I saw like plasters and hers and things in the pool, like nothing more made me want to throw up, like it was disgusting. Alright, we've got the next one now. When my boyfriend comes out the shower and just puts his dirty same clothes back on without even drying his body, biggest ick. I don't see the point why you decide to take a shower and then put on the same clothes again. Because obviously you've been sweating things out all day. So then you put on those dirty, sweaty clothes again. It's, I don't know. Why would you do that when you just cleaned yourself and now you're putting on like dirty clothes again to smell again. So... Yeah, that, that gives me the ick too, I agree. Unpopular opinion, but to normalise LGBT relationships, there needs to be more movies, TV shows and books whose main focus isn't someone exploring their sexuality. This just makes it seem as if a gay person's personality is being gay. Rather movies that have different topics such as murder mysteries, and the main character, one aspect is that they are in a gay relationship. I agree with this one. If someone's a certain sexuality at the end of the day, like, it's literally not a big deal. Like, if that person's gay, then that's fine, you know, let them be. Like, there's nothing wrong with being gay or a different sexuality things like that. Like, if someone's a different sexuality or gay or bi or straight things like that, then it's like, it's not a big deal. Like, it's just a person at the end of the day, so I agree with this one. Dark humour is not dark humour if it's racist, homophobic, sexist, etc. Humour is supposed to be funny. Yes! Oh my god. Over the years, the amount of times I've heard people like make like homophobic, like dark kind of humour, which isn't really that funny, it's just like sexist, homophobic, transphobic, racist, things like that. Like I can't count on my fingers the amount of times I've heard such. Like it's literally just like not funny at the end of the day to like make fun of someone's sexuality or, you know, the race or like the gender and things like that. Like that's not humour, that's just, that's just wrong. Right y'all, so those icks were kind of weird. I hope you liked this video guys, if you liked this video guys, if you liked this video, try to hit the next video. Let me know what videos I'm going to do next time, like I said, I want to kind of, kind of like switch up my content, so I want to kind of like do new content, which I haven't done before, so I kind of want to switch things up a little bit, if you know what I mean. And so, yeah, don't forget to follow my social medias, and don't forget to follow all my things, don't forget to follow all of my other things, and all the things out. And, yeah, we'll see you guys in another video, and so, yeah, goodbye. Alright y'all, so before you all go, I want to kind of like ask you guys something. So, I have received more X and popular opinions, which I want to do another, another video of this, so if you want me to do a part 2 of this video, then leave a like on this video, and comment down if you want me to do a part 2 of this video, because... Because I kind of want to do like a sort of series, like a part series kind of, like just, just like, I don't know, 
reacting to all your X and unpopular opinions because there were so many. And there were so many unpopular opinions and X that you guys had, so I couldn't really fit them all in one video. So if we know, I'll make like a, another video of it. So go on to part two of this video and leave a like on this video and, and comment down which you want another part of this video. And I might do stuff like celebrities or like, you know, influencers or whatever, so yeah. Anyway, so I'll leave you guys for it now, so yeah, hope you like this video, and I'll see you guys in another video, goodbye.